In this week's episode of the vlog, our American road trip starts proper as we hire a jeep and head south from Portland down towards Crater Lake. But en route we encounter forest fires and snow drifts that block the roads before we finally arrive at our destination and make ourselves home at a cattle ranch. Good morning. Welcome to the United States of America and another vlog right here on my channel. Today is a really exciting day because we are hiring this car here. Tekka's already sat inside. This is a Jeep Wrangler. Oh, that's going to be fun. And we're heading into the wilderness. We are here at Portland Airport in Oregon and we're driving south from here into nature and I'm so excited about it. It's going to be a good day. This is our open top car. We can take the top off. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to be warm enough here. And it's going to be a two day road trip basically. I'm so excited. Three days. Three days. Mm -hmm. Down to San Francisco eventually. Got our keys and we're ready to go. Okay, so we just turned off the highway um, outside of Portland and now we are on our way on the smaller roads up to the wilderness. We are heading towards Mount Hood, I think it is, first of all, which is a snow-capped peak that we can see. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take to get there, but we want to stop and take some photos on the way. And eventually we'll I'll arrive in Crater Lake and we're going to stay close to there in an Airbnb. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what these roads are like, to be honest. I love driving in different countries, and this is only my second time driving in the United States. Quite an expensive experience, but hopefully one we will not forget. All right, the road trip continues. We've just had a, a bit of a pit stop here in a place called Warm Springs. Is that right? Warm Springs, uh, and there's a Native American um, stop here. I think they, they own this land here. I think this might be a reservation here. I'm not 100% sure. But we stopped at the Indian Head Casino where there's like a coffee stop and I got some um, a smoothie. Nice to come here and see a different place on the road. It has been an epic drive through some lush green forests, which went up over mountains and we saw the snow. And then as we started coming back down again, we came into some desert, or I think you guys would call it prairie. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, we're on the road down towards- Bend. Bend, we're going to Bend. <laughs> and another point of note, we passed a place called Boring in Oregon. That's funny. And it's funny because it's twinned with a place in Scotland called Dull. I love that. We never had time to stop and go into Boring. Maybe it's in the name that we shouldn't. As we headed south towards Crater Lake, a slight fog in the horizon grew to the point that we knew we were heading towards a fire. As we drove through the smoke, it was unclear to me if what we were about to drive through was actually an unorganised wildfire, or if it was the efforts of firefighters to clear brush by causing a controlled fire. In any case, as someone who's never seen something like this before, it was quite scary and disconcerting to drive through. 
And if I'm being honest, I was glad to make it out the other side. Oh my God, that was absolutely insane. Like I'd heard about the wildfires here in Oregon and you know, down to California as well. I didn't realize it really started already, but. <coughs> <laughs> wow, <coughs> wow, they've just wrecked it back in your throat. That, that was unbelievable. That was pretty scary to be honest. There was a section there for about 100 meters where you couldn't see basically anything and it came right into your throat. There was a lot of firemen and stuff fighting it. So I'm sure they've got it, you know, kind of under control in some way, but. I've never seen that before. That's the first for me. I don't. I don't know what to say about it. It's just, just bizarre. It was like we were in a, an apocalypse. I think they will close the road soon. Mm. If it starts like that. If it keep it. Yeah, maybe. If they, it keep it like that. Maybe they should close the road. I don't know if they're going to close the road, but uh, the fire was right up against the, the road. Like I could see the flames. I'm just not. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. I'd like to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video me and my members. I'm starting to launch exclusive content, starting with a three-part documentary series about the Scots who changed America. This three-part series launches today, and you can access the first part right now by joining my Patreon from just $4.99. As well as getting access to this three-part series, you'll also get access to dozens of private videos, including blooper reels. Click on the link in the video description or scan the QR code on screen to sign up. All contributions play a massive role in helping to support my channel and the videos I make here. Thank you very much for considering and to all my members. Uh, that's not what I expected. We're driving here towards Crater Lake. We've been driving for hours now in what seems like wilderness, really remote places. And we've come across a road that is closed because of snow in May. I'm really, really, really shocked. But here we are. We're gonna have to find another route. There is a route that goes all the way around the park. And maybe we can do that. I'm surprised. You see behind me, look, the road's closed. See that there? That is a barrier. We are now in some deep, dark woods with massive trees on either side of us. And snow. And snow, bizarrely. I didn't realise this place is such in the wilderness, like, we don't have anything as remote as this in Scotland, no way. Um, and another thing, our windows, like, you can barely see out of them, look at them, they're all covered in dead bugs. And the windscreen wiper will not get them off with the water, so I need to, like, actually put soap on there and scrub them myself. We're not going to be able to see out the window soon, <laughs> but wow, this is a beautiful part of the world. Green forests, dense forests, snow capped mountains. Oh yeah. All right, Crater Lake we are at. I don't know what I expected from Crater Lake, but I can tell you, I did not expect at any part or any point of this trip to be walking in deep snow. That's strange. But well, we're here at Crater Lake and oh my God, I just went right through the snow. Um, we are on the rim 
of Crater Lake. At Rim Village it's called. It's quite snowy up here. That there bind is is basically Crater Lake. We can't get any closer than that without, you know, putting hiking boots on and maybe some ropes because it is a proper crater, as the name suggests. Deepest lake in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. And I saw in the toilet there, this place up here where we are now on Rim Village is called. Rim Village, that's gonna make me laugh. Um, <laughs> Rim Village, I can't say that without laughing, um, is here behind me. It's like a, a ranch or a, a lodge or something behind it. it gets 50 feet of snow over winter and apparently throughout winter you can barely see the lake ever because it's so covered in um, in clouds it just gets dumped on by all the the weather coming off the pacific which is pretty amazing anyway we're here what's your first impressions Taka? wow it's, um, look at the camera though i'm so scared of falling it looks very very deep <laughs> Well, it is deep, yeah, yeah it's the deepest. I, I don't know how deep it is, I can't tell you, I'll have to put it on screen. Yeah, that is a chilly window, oh my word. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting all this snow, it's just crazy snow. But it's pretty, I'm yeah. glad we've seen it, and we've seen it in like... Because people are saying that sometimes you can't see because it's too cloudy or yeah. something. As we were, oh my god, I just sank in the snow. Um, as we were driving up here, we passed a point in the road not that far back and it said we were at an elevation of something like 5,000 feet. That is extraordinarily high. I think that's higher than any mountain in Scotland. Pretty cool. Anyway, Crater Lake. I'm not sure what there else is to say about this place or show you, but Crater Lake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I said the snow drifts were like seven foot, but I think they're much higher than that in some places, maybe 10 or 12 foot. This is just bizarre. Ever seen a toilet thing like that? That is the, the rest room. And this metal thing here protects it from the snow. It's bizarre. Oh, it's chilly. Alright, so that was Crater Lake. I guess there's not much else to see up here. It's beautiful. It's cold. I'm gonna head back down to like some kind of normal altitude. Back in the car. I am really, really surprised. It is really chilly out there. Like, I'm glad I put a thick shirt on. Otherwise, I would have, you know, struggled a little bit. My hands are cold. I'm having to warm them up in the car. Um, shocked. We're, you know, in the middle of May now, which is, you know, the start of summer, basically, and having all this cold and snow, I did not expect that. This trip is going to be wild because we're getting everything from cold, cold weather, apparently, to really, really hot in, De in Texas. Um, but that, that was a pretty cool to come up here and see it. I did like that. Um, you get spectacular views here, and it's just a different landscape to anything that I expected I would see. Um, I'm glad I'm in the car, though, because it's, it's, it's really chilly. I think this place would be off limits maybe in winter time. I get the feeling. So, also, we've got no signal, so I've got no idea how we're gonna get to our Airbnb. We'll have to make it up as we get along. I think we're gonna roughly use our map skills and find it. <laughs> <clears throat> Just driving along there. Saw so this place. It's pretty epic. Saw so this thing on the way down from Crater Lake, and I thought that's 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 quite unique. I've not seen anything like that before. Better stop and take some photos. So here we are. The 
sun is going down, the sun is setting today. We've just made it to what I think is our accommodation, we're on a gravel road. But there's a very pretty sunset happening right now. I just hope we can get in and find this place before it gets too dark. Maybe. Looks like there's like some kind of terrible thing happening on my window with all the bugs. I couldn't even begin to tell you where exactly we are. Somewhere on a farm, close-ish, about an hour's drive from Crater Lake. In Oregon, I think, still? There's some kind of zoo creatures on my window of the car. I've never had a car with that much um, roadkill on the window. You can almost not see it anymore. I'm gonna have to wash it with like soap and water or something. There's cattle up that way. We're on a cattle ranch, I think. This is a cattle ranch. You can hear birds behind us, you can hear the cows mooing. There's a beautiful garden here. And we've got a porch. We've got a porch. I always love porches in America. Let's get the car locked up. Look. Look at the state of the window. That is outrageous. Anyway, yeah, we're here on a ranch and it's absolutely gorgeous from what I can see. I'm going to do a room tour in a wee minute, show you guys what I'm seeing. Looks cool. But let me just show you before the sun goes away, the sunset here. Hey buddy, hello. I see you. What's your name? What's your name? I see you. What's your name? I see you. Oh, you've been out in the field today. <laughs> Where's your home? Do you live here? Oh, that's a nice sunset there. Look. Wow. That's a very nice view. Do you live here? I feel like I'm understood in this place. Let me give you a quick tour and you'll see why. This is pretty awesome. I love the theme throughout this place. Also, and the reason I say I'm understood here, let me show you. I'm with my people. Decoration in this place is awesome. How cool is that? I fit right in already. They even have a cowboy statue up there.
Well, we have arrived and it is indeed a cattle ranch. Uh, as you could have probably heard from some of those scenes outside of the noise of the cows mooing, we're on a cattle ranch indeed. The owners of the place actually just live next door. I've met them, they are super nice. In this place, this, this room we're staying in is kind of like a studio apartment type of thing. We've got the bed here and then the kitchen area over here. So it's a decent sized studio. And we're going to be here for precisely one night. We're literally just staying tonight. And then first thing in the morning we're getting up and we're driving south again. It's been an epic drive. We've been on the road today for like nine hours driving. Now of course we did stop on the way a couple of times. We did stop obviously at Crater Lake. We're still in Oregon, I believe. We've come a long way from Portland, um, it seems, but we're still in Oregon. And today's road trip has really kind of made me understand quite a few things about America. Like when you say, when you guys talk about the kind of wide open roads and the horizon, I get that now. This place is vast and I've not even left the state. You know, looking out over the sunset there, it just goes on and on and on forever. Um, but it is very cool to be here. This is a beautiful place. Crater Lake was spectacular. Um, the road was very easy driving, very easy driving. Like we had no issues with anything basically. Uh, Google Maps did all the work for us and we're here. We need a rest because we've been on the road all day today and we will be on the road all day tomorrow. Um, but it's been good fun today, I've enjoyed it. We've seen a lot of really cool things that I never imagined I'd ever see again. Drove on some roads that I don't think we'll ever drive on again. Um, and I'm just kind of feeling overwhelmed with emotion. It's just, just fantastic to be here. And I just want to say thank you to all you guys who have been watching this journey so far. And continue to support me. It makes a, means a lot to me. Um, and hopefully you've been enjoying these videos. The owner of the Airbnb just popped by actually to give us some freshly made cookies, which is a really nice touch. This place is beautiful, like I've never stayed on a ranch before. This is a first time for me, uh, and I'm just really excited to be here. It's, it's unfortunately we're here for such a short time, as is the case with many of the places we're staying here because it's such a long way from home. Um, and we've got, we've got such a lot of places we need to see. But thank you again for watching. Hopefully you're subscribed if you're not already, hit the button. And keep in touch with all the videos in this series by clicking the playlist down below. But thanks for watching again and I'll speak to you soon. Until the next adventure, have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care. Join me for the next episode of my US road trip, which is being aired right here on this channel every Sunday. In the next episode, we'll be heading into California, where we'll be walking in the land of giants. A special thank you to my patron members who have helped make this road trip possible. Thank you for watching.